Hi, I'm Yuki McQueen, violinist in the Utah Symphony, and I just finished my second trip to Haiti. The first trip was in July when I went to a summer camp, and this time I took, John and I took many of our colleagues, 17 to be exact, plus our music director, to spend a whole week doing an orchestral institute. Wow. So um, now that you've been there twice, can you um, can you tell us about some of the things that you found most impressive about working with the students, the music students of Haiti? Well, they really do live and breathe music, and there's a real community aspect. Um, the the kids know each other from the summer camps, actually. Even though they they came from 19 different schools, a lot of them do meet in the summer um, if they're fortunate enough to have time to go to these camps and um, whenever they go they start spontaneously making music. I experienced this in July when we had a rainstorm that stopped the rehearsal cold because um, it was too noisy. But then despite the noise and despite the dripping rain, um, kids picked up their instruments again and started playing. Just with, They'd yell out a piece, the name of a piece, and then several would join in. They were dancing and singing and playing at the same time. And it was really inspiring to see that kind of pure joy through music. And on this trip, um, we had a reception right after the orchestra concert. And when we arrived at the building where we were going to have dinner, um, students had already picked up instruments and started making music again. Um, and, and then uh, during the dinner, there was another jazz explosion plus a lot of dancing. And it was just really exhilarating because as a professional music musician, I still, of course, love music, but sometimes you get jaded, you know, oh, time to go to work. But I did not get that feeling at all with these kids. It was just joy and community. That's, that's really exciting to hear about that. You mean that orchestral musicians don't sing and dance during our intermissions? We don't get well, backstage and... Half the time, but <laughs> most of the time, We've, we're so saturated with music that you know we take a little break or we chat with each other. We are still a, a tight-knit community, but just the way they did it was so unique. Oh, that's yeah. just incredible to hear about that. Well, thank you, Yuki. Thanks, and Roberta. We'll talk later about Haiti. Thanks.